Now we're going to bring up Jean DeFrancis, who I met last Thursday night. Jean, come on up. New York State Assembly. He's going to give you a little bio about himself. Again, we have to consider our local of uh, the local people who are putting their hats in the ring for this election. This is this New York State Assembly. This is very, very important. It's a matter of life and death for our state. Everybody realize, here's Gene DeFrancis. Thank you. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you. Any Bronx Knights here? Woo! All right, not bad, not bad. My name is Gene DeFrancis. I'm a Navy veteran. I served Operation Enduring Freedom. And I'm born and raised in the Bronx, as Vicki said, right over that bridge. So why am I here? Because we can't do this alone. We need to mobilize. We need to mobilize together. We need to expand this tent. We all have different opinions about different things. We have to accept that even within this party. Our focus is to end socialism. So when I stepped in front of the GOP office in the Bronx, I said, my name is Gene DeFrancis, and I am going to be the next assembly member of the 80th Assembly District. Yeah. And you know what the Democrats did? The ones in power, not the, not the members, the ones in power, you know what they did? Take a guess what they did. They laughed. They laughed. Right. They're laughing because they, they are in control. But they're not laughing anymore. You know why? Because this Sunday, I got the endorsement of the Northwest Bronx Democratic Club. The only Democratic club in my district. I have their support. Why? Because the Bronx is not socialist. We won't tolerate socialism. And we're not going to stand for it. So we're going to work together, and we're going to kick out Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Our assembly member made the big mistake. She threw her mentor under the bus, Councilman Mark Joni. How many know Councilman Mark Joni? He's a Democrat, sort of. He did what a lot of people do in the Bronx, especially in my district, the 80th and the 82nd. They say, I can't win as a Republican in the Bronx. It's too deep blue. So what did he do? He joined the Democrats, gave them more power, centralized that power. I could have won as a Democrat. I came within 1,300 votes in the special election with 3,000 Republicans still out there saying, Republican can't win the Bronx. Look at the map. My district is light blue, and that's mostly Democrats that were Republicans but wanted to vote into the primary. We can win, and we will win. And my conversation with the Northwest Bronx Democrat Club is they'd rather vote for a Bronx Republican than a Tennessee Democrat. Put our differences aside, even within the tent. Put them aside. We all have to come together on one specific focus, and socialism. It's not a joke, and we can't be silent on it. Hitler started as a socialism. Stalin, socialism. These are facts. We cannot accept socialism because then it's too late. Just like with the Democratic Party. We let it go, we let it go, we sit home, we don't donate to the candidates. We ignore it. And in, in our defense, we had a family, right? We had work that morning. We have to get off our asses. We have to talk to our neighbors or all different creeds. Muslim, black, Latino, Albanian, Italian. We have to work together because socialism is not a joke. Get out there. Talk to your neighbors. They're not afraid of you. Bronxite is not scared of Donald J. Trump. They're scared of socialism. They don't want it. Get into the projects. Talk to them with passion, compassion, and intelligence. You don't have to fight. They want you to think that you're up against the wall. You are not up against the wall. Just talk. Communicate. We are on the right side. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Very well done. Now, yeah, I wish we could vote for him over here, but we can't. <laughs>